A baby skunk with its head caught in what appears to be a Tim Hortons ice cap lid. Okay, okay. 16 year old Sophie Wilson spotted the desperate critter here at Norton Park in Burlington a week ago and without hesitation stepped into action. I was able to take the cup off but the lid was still stuck on there pretty tight. Eventually the skunk ran away with the lid on its head, but Sophie came back to the park the next day and brought a net, hoping this time she could trap the skunk and save it. We caught the skunk and we were able to cut the lid off. Sophie says the skunk never sprayed, but she put a towel over its tail just in case. Kevin Struban from the Lincoln County Humane Society was impressed with the rescue. It's most surprising that she wasn't sprayed, especially with the back end facing her and the tail straight up. Uh oh, <gasps> it's got its tail. But Sophie wasn't as lucky when she saw another skunk in Burlington a few days later also trapped in garbage. It sprayed behind and I was right in front of it, so the cloud of spray kind of whooshed into me. While Struban commends her impressive efforts, he says it's still best to call animal control if you see a critter in crisis. Skunks are rabies vector animals, and if the skunk was, if it had bitten her, and whether it had rabies or not, she's likely going to have to go for her post-exposure vaccines for rabies. Sophie says she kept rabies in mind and was extra careful not to get bitten or scratched. The teen aspires to be a veterinarian one day and hopes this serves as a lesson to people who litter. Don't just throw it on the floor because that's how it kills animals. Kelly Batello, CHCH News.